sacroiliac joint is a synovial joint, meaning that it has a capsule and then there's synovial fluid that helps, uh, that allows for ease of movement during movements of this joint. In certain individuals, they may have capsules on both sides or maybe even one. And MRI studies have shown that even within the same individual, they may not even have the same sacroiliac joints bilaterally. So what causes SI joint pain? Well, generally what we see is it starts with a lack of movement or too much movement, and then that creates inflammation either outside the joint of the other structures and tissues around the joint or within the joint itself. The good news that whether it's too mobile or not mobile enough, the intervention is very similar. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that we have strong stabilizers within the area. The major muscles when it comes to stabilizing the lumbopelvic area, which is the area of focus that we're talking about today, is going to be our abdominals, primarily the transverse abdominus. It's going to be the gluteal tissue, as well as the QLs and the erector